Hey everyone, it's Sun Types, and today I'm ranking every ball card in the Pokemon TCG, specifically the expanded format. So we will be covering all the cards in standard as well as the ones in expanded. And um, before we start, I want to get this out of the way. I'm sure some of you are going to be like, "Where is um, like Ball Guy uh, or Maxis and Ball Trick?" Which are they have ball in the name, but they're not on this list. They're they're not ball cards. They're they're people. Um, they're supporters. So you know that's not it. And then uh there are cards there's air balloon big air balloon and i think bursting balloon i don't remember exactly but i think those are the three in expanded and um and big air balloon is in standard so we have balloon like balls and balloon it's it's not it's not it doesn't count uh and then also cards like pokemon communication buddy buddy poffin and um capture aroma they uh function relatively similar to these cards but they're they're not like called they're not the pokeballs right so these are just the, these cards right uh i imagine most of you kind of figured that uh, but that is what i'm going to be going with also i'm not so familiar with all these cards i will be looking at limitless as well to talk about them so i can show them but i guess i'll start with the ones that uh work with this specific mechanic that being um plasma ball magma wait what's it called um we have team plasma ball we have team aqua's great ball and team magma's great ball team aqua's great ball and team magma's great ball say so search your deck for basic team aqua pokemon and a basic water energy uh reveal and put them into your hand and then team magma's great ball search your deck for basic team magma pokemon a basic fighting energy card and reveal and put them into your hand and i'm just gonna real quick pull up uh, also like look at all these expansions ignoring heart called soul silver um they're all black and white colors except for um Except for Double Crisis. Double Crisis is such a weird set. But there are some, like, um, some Team Magma and Team Aqua Pokemon. They're all really bad, I think. Except for except for Team Magma Secret Base, which did see play. Uh, I don't know very much about these. I was going to make a video. Well, I did make a video ranking every mechanic. And I cut them from the list. because, Well, actually, they were the reason I cut Rapid Strike, Team Plasma, and anything that's, like, a name. This is why I cut them. Because Team Aqua and Team Magma are, like, so... I don't know. Like, I don't think they're played. They're literally in one set, and they're not very good. I just had, like, one card. So, these are pretty bad. Uh, tell me down below in the comments if I'm missing something. Like, if they, they have some value, but I don't think they're very good. I will rank the tiers some, but uh, I think they're both pretty bad. Oh, there's a camera up. I saw it in, like, a GLC deck the other day. So, that was something. Uh, and then, let's take a look at a Plasma set. So, the first one, I, I guess, was boundaries crossed to this have plasma or am i just imagining that i'm just imagining that okay so it was just the plasma plasma storm plasma freeze plasma blast with the ones with plasma team plasma pokemon let's find a good evolution i guess the evolutions weren't very good but um you got crobat here but then you have the golbat and zubat and so uh yeah oh so, so the flareon the flareon was good which is an evolution but um mostly oh and then so magzone here and team plasma card a pretty cool card mostly an expanded card oh i guess exclusively an expanded card but um so team Pla oh, team plasma ball what it does search your deck for a team plasma pokemon reveal it and put it into your hand shuffle your deck after um and that's what ball cards do right they search for pokemon uh, generally that's not what all of them do but that's what most of them do uh, so we can get like magnetons here but then the magnetons and the magnemites you can't get with the uh, team plasma ball so this card's not bad though um the team plasma deck the that you can do it with lugia Thunderous, Curum, Deoxys. I'm going to make a video talking about a lot of the different eras of Pokemon. Uh, so, Team Plasma was, like, solid. Um, I'm going to say this is, like, C tier. I mean, it's not that good. There's some, like, amazing cards. I might end up shifting the tiers at the end. I'm not sure, but... Um, it could make its way into B tier. There's some... They're, they're, like, Team Magma Ball and Team Aqua Ball are so bad. Um, so I'll put this in B tier. There's certainly better ones, and there's, I only want to put a few in S tier. Next up, I'll talk about, um, I'll just talk about the standard one. I'll talk about, um, let's see, what are, like, the good ones in, you know, I'll do, I'll do Feather Ball and Heavy Ball. Feather Ball, stretch your deck for Pokemon that has no retreat cost, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck, and then, uh, Heavy Ball, stretch your deck for a Pokemon with a retreat cost of three or more, reveal it, and put it into your hand, and then shuffle your deck. These are both kind of weird. Heavy Ball is played in, um, I think it was Colossal, but it's played, oh yeah, Garbodor, Wimpod, Half Through Retreat, and then um, there's this Garbod, oh, so Golisopod, Garbodor, Wimpod, um, Meg Cargo as well. well. I guess that's mostly expanded. What is this deck? Anyway, um, 
so it does have some use cases, but it's not that good. And then Featherball is for your tree. Um, Dragapult lists are running it for what? I guess just for Pidgeot, but um, it, in standard, it's niche outside of Mew VMAX, which is actually pretty good. So I'm going to put both of these in B tier as well, I think, with the with Plasma Ball, where they get out certain Pokemon from certain decks. Arguably, they're worse. Actually, no, I think they're worse, because generally they don't stretch out full evolution lines. Um, like all the Pokemon in your deck, even if you are like playing a deck focused around it. So I'll put them in C tier. I think um, Heavy Ball is better than Feather Ball. I don't know. They're, they're pretty similar. Uh, by the way, Heavy Ball, different card than Hisuian Heavy Ball. A lot of people just call Hall of Hisuian Heavy Ball just uh, Heavy Ball, but they are different cards, um, which does, of course, matter for this list. Um, then, and I might end up putting them into the same tier, but then I'll do. Um, the type specific ones we got netball we got dive ball and i think that's it for type specific ones so uh netball search a deck for a basic grass pokemon in a or, or a grass basic grass energy card we will put into your hand this is kind of like magma ball and aqua ball but obviously better uh, grass is not the best type though um and then and then you got dive ball which is search a deck for water pokemon we'll put into your hand shuffle your deck uh, I guess, it, yeah, it's mostly played in Green Ninja, uh, Green Ninja Break, and um, this this card was pretty good. Uh, Netball, I guess it's just a weaker type, but it's not a bad type. Um, I'll put Dive Ball and Netball in, I'm going to move plas um, I'm gonna move Plasma Ball down, I'm going to put Netball and Dive Ball here in B. Um, so so Netball gets a basic, but only, not evolutions, and then Dive Ball gets evolutions, but doesn't get the energy. So um, and so Netball, you don't get the energy and the Pokemon, you just get one or the other, but it's it's okay. Um, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put Dive Ball above it. Plasma Ball. No, I'll, I'll put half, yeah no Plasma Ball staying in B tier here. Um, and then we have oh, I'll do Cherish Ball now as well. That gets a certain type of Pokemon. Cherish Balls are kind of weird card um it's one that i honestly forget exists but it's really good it says search your deck for pokemon gx reveal it put it into your hand shuffle your deck uh, let's look at some more pokemon gx for this um let's do cosmic eclipse which has um no no i'll do i'll do team up i changed my mind so oh team up here we got a pokemon like incinivar gx oh i guess torcat and Lintner are a different type but they're fire type but they're not pokemon gx so you can't search for the pre-evolutions but uh, that's not what you're playing this with you're playing it with Tag teams and Pikachu and Zekrom, for example, it's just a basic. So the best ones were just basics, Gengar, Mimikyu, um, and uh, there's a bunch of tag teams. They're, they're in different sets, but um, yeah, so if we look at like a tournament, eh, we don't need to look at a tournament, but these were really good. I'm going to put Cherish Ball in A tier. It's in, it was in a weird spot in the metagame when it was in standard where there wasn't a lot of ball search, so it was even better. There was like Mysterious Treasure and Pokemon Communication and there might have been some other things, but it was certainly limited compared to um, standard where we'll talk about Ultra Ball, Nest Ball, uh, even like Great Ball and Pokeball. They're, they're not that good, but um, you know, there are cards, a lot of ways to search out Pokemon now. Oh, I guess this should talk about Level Ball as well. Level Ball is really good. It recently rotated like last rotation, which was a good chunk of time ago. Um, but this says search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less, reveal it, put it into your hand, shelf your deck afterwards. Um, this is going to go oh, level ball. So this is really good. You could play it in a lot of different decks, and it gets basic, a lot of basic Pokemon, most basics that evolve. Um, oh, wow, this this is also in format for a really long time, so it's in a lot of decks. Um, it's good with the Italian engine, as we can see that, that with Italian, it's good with... Can I escape this? Um, it's good with evolution-based decks, uh, like Decidueye here. I honestly don't know why it's played in this. I don't know the HPs of the Pokemon. Oh, this is, yeah, this is the Force of Giant Plants deck. This card, so bad. It's it's banned. Oh, it's so good. It, it got banned. Um, you could turn one item lock. It was it was so good. But um, anyway, um, and like lots of evolution-based decks. Um, but it's, it's really good. And then even if you look at like... I want to find Mad Party. Like, there are some basic decks. Oh, like Lost Zone. Yeah, Lost Zone. Comfy and Stable. By the way, these don't play a ton of um, level while this list just runs one, but that's because you have um, Fog Crystal, which I, I don't remember if I mentioned. It's like Netball, but it's not a ball card. Uh, Battle VIP Pass. A little bit of Buddy Buddy Poffin, but... Um, yeah, Battle VIP Pass is... It's a little different than Buddy Buddy Poffin, but it's like... 
it's kind of similar and it's it's not ball search card but it's similar um so so you know overball is really good i'm going to put in a tier it's not s tier it's very good but there are definitely ones better than it um but yeah really solid card um it generally helps weaker pokemon though so then we have um let's do do the ones in standard right now so i'm going to do ultra ball um nest Ball. I'll do quick ball as well with these. Uh, great ball, pokeball, and master ball. So I'll do ultra ball first. Uh, this is definitely S tier. Uh, it searches for any Pokemon in the game. You discard two cards and you search for any Pokemon. Master ball, you do search for any Pokemon, but it's worse because it's an A spec. I mean, it's better. It's just more or less objectively better, but uh, it's an A spec. So you can only play one A spec in your entire deck. So you're playing this instead of um, Prime Catcher, Computer Search. A dowsing machine, unfair stamp, secret box, like a CNG, things like that. So you're like losing out on something by playing this card. Um, so Master Ball, where's Master Ball gonna go? I'm gonna put it in D tier. I think it's definitely in between. It's certainly better than the um, Aqua and Magma Ball. It's definitely worse than Heavy Ball and Feather Ball. Is it worse than them? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It might be the worst day spec in the game right now. I mean, it's not really the worst, but it's outclassed by something in pretty much every deck so it essentially doesn't see any play it didn't see play in lugia v star it's not like the worst card um but like it, it, it sees like this much play but it, it's not that this good um and this isn't a ton of play it's it's some um, but um it, it's it's not that good master balls is such a weird card to rank because it just completely in a different category than all these other cards because playing by different roles um and held to a much higher standard. It is the the best, but it's held to a higher standard. Um, so I'm gonna put it in D tier. I could put it in C tier. We'll see. Um, some of these cards lower on. No, no, it'll it'll be C tier. Um, some of these cards, these other ones are pretty bad, but not as bad as Mango Ball or Aqua Ball, which are no, no. It'll it'll be it'll be D tier. That's fine. Um, then in Ultra Ball is it's S tier. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the best, but it's very close. Uh, then we have Nest Ball and Quick Ball. These are pretty similar. They search for basic Pokemon. Where is Nest? Oh, that is Nest Ball. Where is Quick Ball? Quick Ball. Um, so Nest Ball says search your deck for basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Quick Ball, you discard a card from your hand, search your deck for basic Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand. This is pretty interesting. Um, Nest Ball is definitely worse than Quick Ball. Now, some of you might not know why that is, but it is for two reasons. One, discarding a card is nice. Discarding two is not that good, but discarding one is actually really nice allows you to um there are a lot of decks that need to discard a few cards you're looking at stuff like gardevoir ex which needs energy archaea or lugia we start to discard archaeops um and uh and then even a deck like lost zone you can discard your energies then super auto mac into the deck to be able to mirage gate them out you can um Use Quick Ball to discard Metal Energy for Metal Saucer in when this came out in the same set as the Quick Ball first came out. Oh, by the way, so I did say this is um, just expanded. There's actually another Quick Ball that's kind of the same Quick Ball. It gets really complicated. There's a reason I'm not doing the entire history. I was just going to do standard, but there weren't enough cards um, to make a super interesting video. But Quick Ball here is, um, I'm talking about that, like the actual, like the one that people actually play. Um, so yeah, this quick ball is um it's really good and then it allows you to um let, let's find a deck. What am I like looking at here? Um so let's go older. Uh oh by the way, Limitless, which is the website I'm using, its tournament results are kinda skewed in a weird way, shall I say. Oh, but there we go to Den GX, the first Pokemon to pop up. Really good card. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best cards ever. I, I don't know if that's quite true. It's a card I like a lot though. Um it's it's certainly very good. Um one of the best cards of um it's era certainly uh but dead change when you place pokemon from your hand onto your bench you can discard your hand draw six uh you can't use more than one this ability per turn but it's like an extra professor's research every turn when professor's research was really the main supporter outside of maybe boss's orders but that's that's different um so professors and and also you could like essentially professor's research and boss orders at the same time today gx super good and then there is um uh there's where where is that card I'm looking for for Crobat V. That, that's what I'm looking for. Um, this probably plays yeah Crobat V. Similar thing. Draw till you have six cards in the hand. There's also Shaman EX. That hey, that's so weird card right there. Got banned. Um, it was really good though and expanded. You know, on playability, Capillary GX, Luminion V. Um, on playabilities. 
the only Pokemon like that that doesn't have an on-play ability that I can think of is, well, there's like Krikotun V and BBX, but they're kind of different, um, not as explosive draw, but uh, that would be Squawkabilly EX. Squawkabilly EX is very similar to Dedenna GX. It's definitely worse, so you can only use it once as opposed to every turn, but um, it's a similar concept, and it is actually meant to work with Nest Ball, but you can still Quick Ball for it, um, but you can't Nest Ball for Dedenna GX, and it just won't trigger, which is a notable downside. Um, it's not a bad code. Nestball's still a really good card. Every deck in the game, by the way, these are really high because every deck in the game plays basic Pokemon. Nestball's going to be an A tier here, that definitely the highest A tier card, definitely the third best card in this list. Um, Quick Ball is... It's it's the top card. Uh, every deck plays basic Pokemon. And uh, Ultra Ball is better, though, because you can use you can use it to trigger your abilities on play. And, uh, of course, it gets evolutions as well. But... um. Yeah, Quick Ball is so good. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's it, it's just really good. I think it's um, the best ball search card. You could definitely make an argument for Ultra Ball. You could even make an argument for Nest Ball. I guess I, I feel like that's weaker. I think you couldn't make an argument for really any other card in this list because they're not anywhere near as universal. Uh, but then we have two other ball cards in Standard that are pretty normal, I guess. Great Ball. Look at the top seven cards and put a uh, Pokemon you find there into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back. Uh, cards like Capture Room and Pokemon Communication are also compared to this, um, but yeah, they um, don't always get you the Pokemon you want, long story short. So, um, oh, and then Pokeball is a similar idea where it doesn't always get you the Pokemon you want. Right now, it's directly outclassed by um, Capture Room, and if we look at tournament results, and uh, there, this card has been in format for... Has it always been in format? I know, it's been in format for pretty much forever. Um... It's seen like no play, so that's like not a good sign. Great Ball has seen much more play. It doesn't see hasn't seen an absurd amount for the fact that it's also been around pretty much forever, um, at least since I've been playing. But um, yeah, Great Ball is uh, is is much better than Pokeball. Pokeball is gonna go in D tier. I will. Do I, this is so weird with like Pokeball next to each other, next uh, Pokeball and Match Ball next to each other. Um, I guess Pokeball's worse. Uh, there are some worse ones here. I'm going to put Pokeball above Master Ball. They're not good. Uh, Pokeball, you know, it just doesn't get you anything half the time. Like, Ultra Ball is so much better. Um, like, because it always gets to the card you need. And then Quick Ball and Nest Ball are usually just better anyway. Like, it's it's outclassed almost all the time. <laughs> in Standard, there's literally just a bet directly better card in Capturing Aroma. Uh, unless you're in, like, the most niche case, like, ever, which... The case would need to be, um, like, you... Wait, what's Capture Aroma say? I think I know what it says. It's, it's like, on a coin flip. Yeah, so, um, theoretically, um, if you wanted to play an item card that didn't do anything and not shuffle your deck, then Pokeball could be better. But, like, why are you playing cards that literally don't do anything? That's, like, so, so silly. So, um... Yeah, Pokeball is not very good. It's not the worst, but it's not very good. And then um, Great Ball is, it's in C tier, I guess, behind Feather Ball and Heavy Ball. It's not that good. It's not great. It, that's like the joke. Everyone's like, oh, it's like not great because it, it's it's not. Uh, but it, it's not bad. I mean, you know, it's it's a it, it's okay. If you look at the deck that plays it here, um, this deck plays 19 Pokemon, which actually isn't that high. I was like hoping for more. Um, taking it on plan 21, uh, Spath is already playing 20, um, but then you look at um, decks playing uh, Quick Ball, and you can see, oh, this deck's so weird, this is an expanded deck, but looking at standard, um, like, Luke, that's also expanded, what am I, what, what are they, oh yeah, this is a while ago, so, like, this is a, the Regis deck plays 14 Pokemon, um, UV Max plays 12, but then you also have Lugia Archeops playing 19, um, Arceus Giratina playing 17, uh, Lost and Rayquaza playing 17, so you can put this, uh, Nest Ball, uh, or really, like, Nest Ball, Quick Ball, Ultra Ball, in decks that play lots of Pokemon, or not a lot of Pokemon. Uh, Great Ball has to be indexed with a lot of Pokemon, because you don't want to, as I said, with, um, Pokeball, you don't want to play an item card that just doesn't really do anything. So Great Ball is um, might just not do anything some of the time, and it's not so precise either. So Great Ball, not great, um, but not it's not terrible. It usually gets you something, and that card has value, but it's it's not your preferred option. I know some people who love this card as well. A lot of people do. It's a fun card. Um, it's pretty iconic as well. It's one of the most iconic cards on this list, um, but it's not that good either. Uh, I think we have one more standard card, which is a Suyin Heavy Ball. 
Assuming Heavy Ball is so different from all these other cards, it's like the second most different. And uh, well, no, I guess we can talk about Beast Ball. Beast Ball, I like don't remember this card. Um, it's so forgettable in my opinion. Uh, so, so assuming Heavy Ball, look at your face down prizes. You may reveal a basic Pokemon you find there, put it into your hand if, and then if you did, uh, put this assuming Heavy Ball in. Uh, in its places. I never even read this before. Um, this card, I just, I do it, but I didn't remember what it said. And put this his human heavy ball in its place as a face down prize card. Um, and then, and then shuffle. So, so you get your basic out of the prizes. Uh, it, it's really good. There are cards like this, but not in standard. And um, even the cards like it, it's not as good as them. Um, this is B tier. I'm going to put it at top of B tier. I feel like um, it's, it's really good. It allows you to run one of basics and be able to get them out of your uh, prizes really consistently. Prizing is one of the prize cards. Are, uh, I don't play other TCGs really at all, but I know a little bit about them. Uh, I know the prize card mechanic is a pretty unique one. Um, and one of the things that makes Pokemon interesting and a card that interacts with them is really good. Um, it allows you to like smooth stuff out and it's really fun. It's a really good card. There are times when it's like just useless, which obviously like kind of sucks, but like when it's useful it's just, it can just save your games it's it's a card that i love maybe i'm thinking it's better than it is but it is really good like it sees a lot of play i mean it's not like i'm just making this up and saying like oh this card doesn't see play and you can look at the deck diversity a lot of it's lost zones plays a lot of basic one of pokemon chimpow basic deck snorlax a basic deck but like gardevoir gardevoir here is a deck that plays some basic pokemon but it's an evolution deck um and uh Jim Pat Max Caliber plays evolutions, Pidgeot control, you know, plays an evolution. Um so it's not a uh, card you play in all only basic decks, but it's a really good card, really fun card. Um yeah, it's certainly one of my favorites in the game. Beast Ball is like this, but worse, I'm pretty sure. Um look at your face down prize cards, you may reveal an ultra beast card you find there, put it into your hand, and then put this beast ball in its place. Okay, so this is the same wording. Um and then, yeah, oh, and if you don't reveal it, you put this, um, you put it in the discard. So, um, let's play the index, I'll play Naganadal. Um, I, I'm not really familiar with these decks very well. I mean, I kind of know the, the Checkmate deck and the Naganadal box. I, like, don't really know anything about this deck, to be honest. It's a cool deck, but I've never really played with or against it, I don't think. Um, but, yeah, oh, and then it finished 13th at the world championship with with Naganadal, apparently uh but yeah so checkmate as well checkmate uh that's a that's a weird deck um but anyway so so they didn't see anyway there was much play i think it's pretty bad um it's super niche it's not like terrible i mean when you need it it's so good but the rest of the time it's just useless and like it's way worse than shooting his human heavy ball because it's values it just it's just lower right um so this card i'm gonna put in um d tier i'm gonna put it below master of all uh, oh by the way pokeball isn't like completely trash it's on a coin flip you get any pokemon so um so there are times when it's like okay but it's it's not that good right it's pretty underwhelming um master ball also is pretty underwhelming compared to the other respects um now we come to some really weird cards uh i guess i'll talk about the last standard card which is love ball and i'm also going to talk about uh friend ball and repeat ball um, we forgot, do we have Dream Ball? Yeah, no, some of these are so weird. Dream Ball is also really weird. Um, which friend ball, Love Ball, and Repeat Ball. So, um, Repeat Ball is actually good. I'll talk about Love Ball first, though. Search your deck for a Pokemon of the same name as one of your opponent's Pokemon to play, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Um, I'm just going to check the Japanese database. Uh, yeah, no one's played this card. This card's so bad. Like, um, it would only be good in a format where everyone's playing the same deck slash same cards. But even then, it's, like, not that good. It, it's just okay. Um, but that's not the format we're in, right? So, uh, and that's, like, not how the Pokemon TCG is supposed to work. This card's so bad. Um, I I don't know. I don't know if I've seen it in one place. It's a fun card. Also, it's a brand new card. I didn't realize it's brand new. Also, let me double check. There's no, um, ball search card in the the new mini set right now okay uh so love ball it's not very good i'll talk about friend ball as well search your deck for pokemon with the same type as one of your opponents pokemon and play your real put it into your hand shuffle your deck this card's way better because you know it's like people pl there's only 10 types right um so it can actually get stuff as opposed to there's like a lot of pokemon there's like hundreds of pokemon being played and eh, that's not really true um they're, they're kind of are but there's, there's a lot of different pokemon being played 
So Love Ball uh, is probably just not going to do anything. Friend Ball can do things in a lot of decks, and you can like, kind of build your deck to focus on a lot of different types of Pokemon. So, and then Repeat Ball is even better. Search deck for a Pokemon with the same name as one of your Pokemon in play. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Shelf your deck afterwards. There's also a card called um, Familiar Bell, kind of similar to Repeat Ball, but not a ball. So Repeat Ball is... I don't actually know how good Repeat Ball is, to be honest. I guess it doesn't seem that much play, but it's an older card, so the data is much more limited. Um, I'm going to put this in a C tier. I feel like it fits with Heavy Ball, uh, Feather Ball, you know, kind of similar cards there. Um... And for the fact that like they search for some Pokemon, but they're not so great. They're a little niche. Um, friend Ball seems pretty bad. It seemed more play than Repeat Ball according to this, but it's it's pretty it's niche. Um, I'll actually put it at the bottom of C tier though. It's not terrible. And Love Ball is like so bad. Um, Love Ball is gonna end up in F tier, um, just above the Magma Knocker cards. Like this is never getting you any Pokemon. It's so bad. It just doesn't do anything. Um, and then, oh, but tell me, I'd be interested in actually, tell me in the comments if any of you have played Love Ball. Um, it's, it's a new card, so I mean, someone's, like, experimented with it. It's a fun card, but it's, maybe I'm just a hater, but this card seems so bad, like, so niche. Um, actually, you know what? No, is Beast Ball the same tier as Master Ball? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Because, like, Computer Search is so much better, and Prime Catcher and Secret Box and Unfair Step are so much better. Like, it's, it's rough. Um, and then... We have, what do we have? We have Dream Ball, Timer Ball, and I'll do Timer Ball and Lure Ball next. Um, so Timer Ball is, wait, where's Lure Ball? Timer Ball, flip two coins for each head, search deck for an evolution Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand, shelf your deck. Um, this is good. This card called Evo Intense, you don't flip any coins, but you always get one evolution. It's a better card because you can flip double tails and you're just like super sad. Um, this card's pretty good. It's, um... It's B tier at least. I, I know some people some people don't like this card. I really don't like this card. I think its design's pretty bad, um, because it's like so not fun. It's just like you get you flip coins. Uh, Pokeball is not fun and bad. This is not fun, but it's like pretty good, which makes it worse uh, in that regard. But in terms of how good it is it, it it's better. Um, I think it's better than his shooting heavy ball. Uh, yeah, I'll put it at the top of B tier. I don't think it's an A tier card. I don't know if I've put Cherish Ball too high, but it's good. I mean, it just searches good Pokemon. Um, yeah, Timer Ball, Timer Ball's pretty good, but I don't like the coin flip thing. I don't feel like putting in A tier. Um, yeah, so I think I think B tier is fine. Lure Ball is similar, I guess. How much can I play this card? See, okay, yeah, not that much. Um, it says uh, flip three coins for each heads, put an evolution Pokemon from your Discord pile into your hand. Like, this is so bizarre. Not because, not that hard. I mean, it's a little weird, but not that weird. But this is a ball card. It doesn't, it doesn't search a Pokemon. Like, it's just a recovery card. Um, uh, and, and anyways, so, so, uh, this card's in, is it D tier? I'll put it in the top of D tier. Um, Rescue Sventure is, like, so much. What is Rescue Team DX Pikachu? Okay. Um, Rescue... Sorry, I distracted. Rescue Sventure um, from... Oh, I guess it, this was later. But, like, Rescue Sventure is so much better. Super Rod and Ordinary Rod are so much better. This card is so, so bad. Because it doesn't get any Pokemon. It just gets Evolutions, which... You need your basics, generally more. Um, it has, like, use cases. So these decks, if you look at... Um, They'll play Roxy or Charger. Oh, yeah, what's Frostmoth Sandslash? Who's out play, here playing Frostmoth Sandslash? Anyway. Oh, and this is... No, this is also a Weezing deck. Yeah, so they're all Weezing decks or um, Charge Bug decks. And these are Pokemon uh, decks that play Evolution Pokemon uh, that uh, that you don't play. You're, uh, well, yeah, you essentially just don't play as, as Evolutions. You play them really differently. Um, you just... They're kind of weird. Uh, Weezing, you discard, and it does damage, essentially. And then uh, Treasure Bug, you um, attaches an energy. It's, it's a weird card. I think I talked about it in a uh, deck review video recently. Uh, check in my Discord server if you want to see that. Um, I've lost a little Oh, yeah, so, so D tier, I think, is fine. It's, like, so niche. Um, and then Dream Ball is the last card. This one's so weird. Apparently, it's seen some play, but very little. Um, it's a really cool card, by the way. I don't think it's been played in Japanese tournaments, but that's... Well, it's not been played in Limitless Jap Limitless's Japanese tournament database, but that's because I think um, they started tracking tournaments after this rotated. But Dream Ball says, you can only play this card if you took it as a face-down prize card before you put it into your hand. And search your deck for a Pokemon and put it onto your bench and shuffle your deck. 
what is that? So it gets any Pokemon, including like a stage two or whatever, it puts it straight into play. Um, but like, what? This card's so weird and so niche, but it's like so good if it's like played. I'll put it in the bottom of D tier. I really don't know what to do with this card. It's so weird. Um, and so different. Uh, it could be an F tier, but it's like funny. I'll put it in F tier. It's pretty. It's pretty terrible to be honest. I've like messed around with this card, and even I haven't like gotten it to work because I play some weird stuff. Normally, I. I've done less deck play, uh, gameplay videos recently, but I've done some really weird decks, and this one was not good. So, um, yeah, Dream Ball is, is is not a very good card. But here's my tier list of all the balls in Pokemon TC in the Pokemon TCG. Um, so tell me if you want another video like this. If you want me to rank every Pokemon search option in standard, that could be interesting. But um, you know, I just hope you enjoyed the video. Consider liking and subscribing. All that good stuff. And as always, I'm excited to see you in the next video.